What's up guys, welcome back to Sundown Audio Unofficial, your home for all behind the scenes footage from here at Sundown Audio. My name's Derek, this is going to be another Amp Test Tuesday. I got a hold of a bunch of old school discontinued Sundown Audio amps like this SAZ 5000 you see right here. So I'll be running a bunch of them across the Amp Dyno, look for those videos coming out back to back. Uh, I do one video a week on the Amp Dyno. So let me get the camera set up here, we're going to run this thing. Alright, so here we go, SAZ5000D. Try and get a real close up shot. I know a bunch of people are complaining they couldn't see the screen. So we're going to start off certified. Four ohm. There we go, 2,273 watts, certified, 4 ohms, 14.4 volts. Alright, here we go, certified run, 2 ohms. And there you have it, 3,803 watts certified into 2 ohms at 14.4 volts. Alright, this time it's going to be certified at 1.3. And there we go, 5,095 watts, certified, 1.3 ohms at 14.3 volts. What's up guys? I'm here at the house doing some video editing. Realized I made a big goof. Apparently I forgot to record the certified one ohm run. Now I know a bunch of people are going to scream foul, I'm cheating, I'm doing something wrong. No, I just goofed. If you look at the certified 1.3 run and um, look at the pic that I fortunately took with my phone of the certified 1 ohm run, you'll see that from 1.3 to 1 there's a potential maximum 23% gain. And with the picture I took, it shows an actual 22% gain. So the power there is totally theoretical. I don't know why anybody would doubt it. Fortunately, I took the picture with my phone that I had to go back and save off of Facebook that I posted. See, something y'all don't realize is I shoot a ton of these videos all at one time. And I don't immediately go and edit these videos and post them. So by the time you see this, I probably shot all this footage weeks ago. So I know a bunch of people are going to be like, why don't you just go get the amp and redyno it and do that run again? Well, it's because I can't. So I did this weeks ago. I don't have the amp anymore. Most of these old amps that I got, we got through some kind of trade-in program. They're all put on the yard sale and they're all sold. So I try and get them all dynoed really quick before they sell. So I'll do a bunch of these amp dyno videos all in one day, save the footage, go back later, edit everything, put them online. So that's why I can't go back and redo it footage is gone didn't exist I don't know what happened but I don't have it fortunately I did take a picture so I'm gonna follow this little clip up with the picture so you can see what it did certified one ohm run sorry for the inconvenience guys so this is uncertified at one ohm Here we go. Let's 
6,356 watts, uncertified at one ohm, 14.5 volts. All right, so this is gonna be an uncertified run at high voltage. Still got the SAZ 5000 on the bench. All wired up. Since it is a high voltage amplifier, I crank the voltage up. We're gonna see what it can do. This is uncertified at one ohm. There we go, 8,146 watts, uncertified at one ohm, 16.4 volts.